Hey guys, Lex here with an All Fragrance Review, and I believe this is one quite a few people have been looking forward to. This is Versace Man by Versace, released in 2003. So, this is actually quite a hard Versace to find. If you walk into John Lewis, Fraser's, Debnam's, Nordstrom's, Sephora, you won't see this sitting on the shelf. You will see the Manuel Frisch one, which is the one most people have heard of and talk about. But this one has been sort of um, I think it's been discontinued, I'm not too sure, but you certainly won't find it. I got this on Amazon, so that's probably the only place to get it, so be online. I think it was around uh, 40 quid or something this was. Um, wasn't too cheap, to be fair, but... Um, yeah, so this one's sort of one of the gems of a Versace. It doesn't get a lot of talk, but it's certainly that doesn't mean it's not good. It's an excellent scent. So let's get started with the usual routine. Let's have a look at the bottle design. Now, the bottle design... Is the exact same as Manuel Frisch with a darker, um, more serious, more masculine look to it. So let's have a look at it. Let me just adjust the camera here. So we have Versace Man there, a sort of um, brownish, bronzy gold shape. We have a dark purple bottle here. Same design, nothing on the bottom, I forgot. It's on the back there, just like Manuel Frisch. Exact same design. Really, really nice looking, awesome looking bottle. I think I say. I think I can adjust the camera just a little bit more. There we go. Looks really good. So, besides a sexy looking bottle, which looks badass like something from Scarface. See, I've already referenced Scarface and we're not even two minutes in. So, let's have a look at the sprayer. How does this one spray? Not the best sprayer, but you know, it's pretty much, like I said, same bottle, same sprayer as Manuel Fresh. Not the best, but to be fair, it sprays just the right amount for the sort of scent. So, before we get started on the smell, I'm using Fragrantica here for the notes. So, the top notes include Neroli, Bergamot and Angelica. The heart notes composed of saffron and cardamom. The base is ambry with labdanum, casmia and tobacco. It was created in 2003 and the nose this is Domitil Michelon. I probably fucked up that pronun pronunciation but give a guy a break. <laughs> I'm not French. I'm not like Mark. He gets the... Yeah, Mark gets the pronunciations top notch. She says it just totally perfect, didn't you? Like, wow. <laughs> so I wish I could say it like he did. Sorry. Um, but smell wise, yeah. This is um completely different from Manuel Fresh. I mean, really, I mean it's it's black and white. The bottle design is perfect. If you compare them side to side, the bottle design does the talking for you. This is a really sexy scent. Um I mean I'm trying to describe this without sounding cheap. This is a sort of flashy scent. It's sort of like a like a man and a gentleman sitting there with a nice suit on and tie. Underneath that suit, he's got a hairy chest and gold chain. You know, but you don't see that part of him. That's sort of how to describe this. I mean, it's it's sort of sexy and flashy. I mean, when I think of it, I do think of like pinstripe suit, you know, gangster hat, gold watch, silk shirt thing going on, um, almost lounge lizardy. But it's got a nice class to it. That tobacco in there is really nice. And when this also dries down, it has a, a, almost done sort of sweeter and almost sort of creamier, a sort of sweet, powdery almost scent. Um, I mean, it's it's so damn good. I mean, it's uh, it's miles ahead, in my opinion, um, of some of the other scents, which are still being sold, and this should be in their place. I mean, it really is miles ahead. Um, definitely one of the best for Satchis, which is probably why a lot of people are so excited and this got a lot of talk when it, this showed up in the review queue. Everyone was like, oh, Versace man, I never even knew you had that. Like, um, So yeah, smell-wise, I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. Like, I just imagine a dark lounge bar, a really expensive dark lounge bar, you know, something like this. <laughs> So smell wise this one is just I mean it's outstanding. It's really unique. It's dark, sexy, seductive. A lot going on for it. I mean it's really it is not really like anything else. It is its own sort of thing. And I really like it. So performance wise, performance pardon me, oh my apologies. Um performance wise this isn't super beastly, um as you can tell. <laughs> Look how much I've used. I probably should wear it more though, and I probably will today. I'll wear it as my scent of the day and evening. So longevity wise, this one gave me around six hours, sometimes eight. 
Projection wise, it's really weird. You, it might not seem it's projecting, but like, um, you know, a couple of hours later, it hovers and it has, it's one of those, if you stand still, it won't project, but it's got a decent amount of sea eyes. So you'll notice it more when someone's walking by you, stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's not that, it's not super heavy, but it's also not wimpy weak. It's sort of in between. And it sounds weird, but it sort of works with the scent. You know, it's sort of, when you smell it, that, that whole vibe just works with it. I can't really imagine it being super boom, you know, to be quite honest. I mean, I think the performance is quite nice for it. So, how many sprays with this one? I am going to say around six sprays, mainly for the performance. Now, why would I not say eight or ten? Hey, just spray more legs. Why not eight or ten? Well, why not eight or ten is because this smells outstanding. If you overspray it, it will not smell outstanding. It will not smell sophisticated. It will not smell like you have a drug dealer and you drive a Porsche. It will smell like you're a cheap motherfucker who's just after pussy and nothing else. I mean, you probably are after that, but you don't want the woman to know that. I mean, come on. That's for me, because I'm a dick. But anyway, um, <laughs> oh, come on, babe. Into my place. Let's go. You know, train spot in Begby style, minus the penis. Yeah. You know, minus the tranny. But hell, I'd try a tranny hooker. I'm up for anything. I wear this as well. There's actually one that lives nearby me, and I've been so tempted. I've been so tempted. I'm not even kidding. I might even do it. But anyway, let's go off this topic. Back to this. Um, <laughs> so, six sprays. Adjust for the weather. Adjust for the situation. Stuff like that. And this will work fine. Age group. So, what age can you wear this one? Can you wear this as a kid? Hell no. I think the perfect age for this is your mid-twenties upwards. All depends on you. If you're the sort of guy who's 30 but still wears skinny jeans and, you know, skinny looking hoodies that are way too baggy, don't fucking bother. If you're the sort of guy that wears a pair of dark denim Levi's, a nice pair of shoes, awesome nice Adidas trainers, a nice leather jacket, you know, nice shirt underneath, quite smart, you know, doesn't look like an old man, doesn't look young, he's just, you know, matured, but not mature, if that makes sense, matured, if that makes sense, then this will work for you. This is a sort of macho scent. You cannot be a fucking spice boy metrosexual and expect this to work. It's just not going to happen. And you'll realise that when you smell it, you'll be like, fuck, now I know what Lex is talking about. I'm not even kidding. So, price-wise, I don't know how this goes. I haven't really searched up because I've already got a bottle. I can't imagine this won't go too cheap. Um, I got it around, I think it's 40, 50 quid, something like that. So I can imagine that was about three years ago. I really don't see this going down in price, but maybe it'll probably be going up in price. So I'm not sure. Um, you know, if there's any questions, leave me in the comments. I'll do the research there. I'm not going to like sit and do it right now. It takes a bit of time. But yeah. So, yeah. 25, 30 and up and you'll be fine. So... Season-wise, where can you wear this one? Can you wear this in spring? Yes. Can you wear this in summer? No. Can you wear this in autumn? Yes. Winter? Yes. All seasons except summer. The only thing I do say is that in colder weather, you may have a bit of a problem with this as it may not perform as well. It's not super strong. So if you've got cold, windy, rainy, hail and snow, this may not be still you know, projecting like, say, um, Aquadigio wood or Bogart wood or something like that, you know? So, yeah. But on that, it's pretty nice for spring and definitely the colder weather. It could even work at Christmas. You know, really nice. You're having a whiskey. You know, you've got your Christmas jumper on. Unless you're like me, who has a Street Fighter one. I'm kidding. I was going to buy one, but I didn't have my size because I waited a week and it was gone. I'm an idiot. But yeah, I wish I had a Street Fighter jumper. Um, <laughs> Christmas one. It has Ryu and Ken, you know, doing the, you know, where the reindeer would be. It's pretty cool. You should look it up. Um, yeah. So, situation-wise, can you wear this to work? I say maybe because of that it's not too heavy, but the only thing is this is just too damn sexy for work. And also you can't, it's not exactly like you can walk into a store and buy out a bottle of this. So I wouldn't recommend it for work. But you know, if you're a CEO or something, probably, but I wouldn't really give it that. For a date, yes, this is really nice for a date. It's not too strong. It's not gonna blow the person away. It's sophisticated, it's complex. And if you apply it and wait about half an hour before you leave for your date, you'll get down to that nice sweet part where the sweetness comes out and it's softer and everything blends in really nicely. And that's the perfect part for a date is that part in the scent. That is the fuck me right now part, okay? Really good for a date. For clubbing, 
It was a really fancy club, like a James Bond club, perhaps. But again, the performance, this, if you're, you know, this will probably get drowned out by the one millions, the Lamars and the Yokes. It's entirely up to you, but smell-wise, it could work in a club. Performance-wise, not so much. So, casual wear. Can you wear this casually? Yes. By casually, you can't dress like me and wear it. I, I probably shouldn't be wearing a dress like this. Tracksuit and stuff. Like I mentioned, the sort of um, the older guy, the dark wash jeans, the nice trainers, the, the tr shoes, the cool shirt on. The guy is, you know, leather jacket badass. Like the guy from the first Grand Theft Auto game. No, sorry, Grand Theft Auto 2. No, Grand Theft Auto 3. You know what I'm talking about with the leather jacket? Fuck, there's so many of them. But anyway, one of those guys. Um, yeah, jeans, t-shirt, smart, casual, definitely. Now formal wear. Can you wear this with a suit? You bet your ass you can. This is really good with a suit. It's a very sexy, gangster sort of thing going on. I think it just smells like a successful businessman. An older gentleman who smokes cigars, has a Mercedes. It just smells like success. A guy who's confident, he gets laid all the fucking time. Yeah, I mean, it's just a really sexy, sophisticated and unique scent from Versace. Pardon me, from Versace that deserves a lot more respect and deserves a lot more attention. So yeah, it's Versace Man released in 2003. An absolute gem and I highly recommend you get your nose on this scent. This is definitely one of the scents to try before you die. That sounds really morbid, but fuck it, it's YouTube. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know a lot you've been looking forward to it. Any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. Send me a YouTube message. If you don't have a Google Plus account, send me a Facebook message. There's a link on my channel banner. And as always, guys, keep on smelling fly.